Hey guys, Ken Napsok here for Collider. It's late in the office and I'm the one left behind to watch Star Wars The Last Jedi, the official trailer. Not a bad job if you ask. Let's dive in. We know what's happening. We know what's going on. Ryan Johnson kind of says don't watch it. That's not true. He just said, hey, it's a trailer. Here we go. Live reaction to Star Wars The Last Jedi trailer. All right, we got Kylo overlooking the First you. Order. Snoke. I saw ATMC6s. Untamed power. Looking at crate, possibly. And beyond. So that was lava. Snoke. Something truly special. Snoke talking about the power that Kylo had when he found him. Lucasfilm clapboard. Something inside me has always been there. There's your weapon, Luke. Do you want it or not? When I was awake. Ray going maybe for the Journal of the Wills or one of them. A little history lesson. That's I love that. Looks so realistic, you know? I've seen this roster. I mean lightsabers aren't real. It didn't scare me enough then. It does now. Does Luke want nothing to do with Rey? She's too powerful. He's still grumpy. Kill it. If you have to. What a revenge of the Sith like space action. That's the only way to become what you were meant to be. Oh, you can't do that. That looks beautiful. We got a porg! We are the spark. Porg action! The fire. It'll burn the first order down. Oh, supposed to be more of a leader. This is not going to go. Is that a loath cat? The way you think. For Phil. Your destiny. Ooh. Oh! No! Are we? Not since like the Macho Man and Hulk Hogan shook hands have I seen that kind of handshake. A lot of people, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay. Uh, we're gonna do full breakdown and analysis of this. Uh, I'm gonna do a, a shot by shot, but I just saw the possible team up of Kylo Ren and Rey and I need to let that sink in for a moment. Okay, let's move on. That looked, I'm sorry, I know adrenaline sometimes gets into you in these reactions when you see things for the first time. That looks big in scope, it looks epic, it looks dark. I mean, we know, we knew going in that Luke was going to have a little bit of problem. He was grumpy Luke, we talked about this, but he is straight out saying Ray is too powerful and that it scares him, it should have scared him before. Too powerful now, and then she's with Snoke. I mean, looks. I, I mean, I don't know. I'm gonna have to watch it again. That looks when 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 Ray and Kylo. Maybe it's two different scenes. Maybe she's talking to a porg, and he's talking to Hux, and he's looking to shake hands with Hux because they've been fighting. But I don't think so. Uh, the stuff with with Kylo uh, potentially taking on Leia. I can't, uh, man. We hear a lot of Luke dialogue there. We've been waiting to hear Luke talk for a couple years now, and it is. Uh, you see now. We saw him say. Hey, in the teasers, you know, the last, uh, the Jedi uh, need to go away, and all, I'm paraphrasing, of course, but uh, it, now you see it a little more focused. You saw that flashback. You saw his hand coming out. We, maybe we're going to get a little more answers of what happened between him and Kylo and the new Jedi Academy or the new generation of Jedis that Luke was training. And I, I love that theme. I love that idea of, of Luke being, I should have been afraid then. I'm afraid now. And, and being rejected by your hero, a potential men mentor, maybe that sends Ray down a dark path. I, I'm, not say, I'm not predicting dark Ray, but I know a lot of people thought that, wanted that. They're definitely hinting at that, whether or not that's a swerve. I don't care right now. That looked great. That looked fun. Space battle stuff. I make a, a reference to it looking like Revenge of the Sith. I, I mean that pretty well. The Battle of Coruscant and Sith is actually one of my one of my favorite things. People are texting me right now. Right now. Trailer hype coming in. Um, 
That space battle again. I said, I said Revenge of the Sith. That that's a, actually a great reference because it, it reminded me of that. Tied to that, Kylo's got a scar. Um, I I mean, and, and there's this theme emerging of people trying to find out who they are. Uh, people not sure of where they're supposed to be going, where they came from, and where they're supposed to be now. And that's big when you have uh, two main characters, Kylo. And Ray, and we talked, Ryan Johnson had said that's kind of their co protagonists, and now they're moving in. Interesting stuff. We didn't see much more of the Kento Bike Casino, not Rose Tico, a lot of that kind of stuff. Just as this is focusing on what will probably be the real core of the story, which is, is the journeys of Kylo Ren and Ray. And I am all on board for that. I'm, I love Poe emerging as a leader. We got Finn versus Phasma. We're getting a lot more information about Phasma uh, now in the novels and comics. That's going to make a little more sense. Um, big, epic. Those walkers, the ATM sixes, MC sixes are uh, are impressive looking, and I am I'm on board for that. Are you guys on board for that? Let us know. Is the hype legit? Is it real? Am I just running off the adrenaline of my late night coffee? You let this Star Wars fan know. Let us hear, know here at Collider Video. Comments below. Share the reactions. Send your reactions. You know what to do. I'm going to watch it again. See you guys.